Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm still building my supplies and beads. So I've taken a lot of cane out today. And that was my goal today was to, one, work on glass, which I did for a little bit. This is the bead that I ended up making. This is a tiger bead. I just needed something that was more, I don't know, more for the fall. Then I came right back and started on some, oops, all the bead release just came off, on some beads. So I thought I'd show you some of the layering techniques that I use for some of my work. Um, let me grab some pink clay for the bottom and I'll show you what I'm up to. Okay, so I don't have any pink, but I do have purple. So as you know, I've got a million canes here that I don't use. I end up selling them or giving them away. But today I'm making a concentrated effort to use some of the canes that I do like, that I didn't want to get rid of. So, I made a few beads this morning. I'm happy. Um, almost got a cookie sheet full, so that's a lot for me. So, I'm starting out with six circles. And we'll see if this is a good size in a minute. Just want to make a focal and then I'll make little little beads after that and then I'll fill the rest with either crystal or you know whatever gemstones that'll match it I got a lot of rose quartz and the light pink might look really good in between this I don't know yet so I haven't made any new canes I'm strictly <laughs> I'm strictly working on the show that's coming up in about two months now. So all I'm going to do really quick is I'm just going to set this here because it's going to end up being a circle because that's where most of my pendants go. And that's obviously a little small for a pendant. So it's perfect for where I need it because now we're just going to go ahead and layer. So this is a cane that we made, oh gosh, I think it was almost one of the first ones we made, so about a year, year and a half ago. I think I've only been doing this for about a year. Okay, and we're just going to start cutting off of this big chunk here. And then we're just going to cover it. I'm going to go back on glass, just so it doesn't roll around everywhere. And I'm just taking thin pieces like this. And I'm going to stack it so that it's all the way around the bead. And if they're not whole pieces, that's okay. I think one more will cover it up. And this is where your scrap clay comes in handy because you can use it underneath. The one thing with translucent though, you've got to make sure you've got a good color underneath because you're cutting these so thin that they will show through. So I try and do a coordinating color or the exact color if I can. Okay, so I got a little spot right here. I'm just going to set that right there. Okay, so we're pretty much covered. And then we're just going to roll it. I don't know if I'm really too low for you guys. I'm going to kind of bring you up a little bit. Okay, so there is our round bead, and it's not in perfectly, but that's okay because we got a lot more things to put on it. So I have some of this fantasy cane, or leaf, or whatever you want to call it. This was inspired by Susan Bailey with turtle soup beads. 
So we're just going to cut four for now. And I just find the areas that I don't like. Like maybe, you know, it's got a blemish on the cane. So I'll cover that up. And let's see. I've got a spot right here. Got one over there. It doesn't really matter where you put them. Um, which is really cool with this kind of bead because you're not following any pattern or anything. You're just kind of layering it, putting them wherever you want. So I think that would be good right there. Okay, so we got a little bit of leaves here. I'm just going to make sure that they're stuck on there really good. And then I have this black and translucent clean. So it's just... um. It's three color or three strips of two strips of black with a white in the middle. That's all it is. I made it into a triangle. I covered it with translucent. And I'm just going to lay that wherever. So I'm going to do maybe three or four of these. So where did I put that other one? Over there. So let's put one right there. How about one right there? Oop. And I don't know if I need any more. Nope, we're just going to use three. And again, I'm going to roll it. And then I have... It's like a chrysanthemum, Ugh, chrysanthemum, blah, blah, I can't even say it, my mouth is so dry. It's a flower cane, it's a ghost cane. So basically all I did was I layered white with translucent, rolled it into a ball, and just took a credit card and kind of did that all around it. I like that green right there. This side doesn't have any, so I only need like three of these. So again, you want a really, really thin piece because you want to see what's underneath. I'm just using a very small, oh, I got a bigger slice right here. So let me do this. This one was wrapped up. So let me get a clean edge here. There's one. Okay, and we're just going to put, I don't know, we'll put that one right there, right there, right there, and I think we're spaced out okay. I mean, I could put another one there, but I'm not, and that's basically all you need for a bead. So easy you don't have to worry about where you're putting it which that's a hard part for me because I'm really horrible in composition so now you're just gonna rub it in your hands so you get a nice little round shape and you want to make sure that you don't get these little lines in between the cane and your base because that just means that they're not they're not in there good enough. See, this doesn't have anything. You know, they're all melded in there. So you just got to work at it a little bit. So I'll do both. I'll do it in my hands. I'll do it on a table. My hands are a little sticky because I've been doing this for a couple hours now. Okay, so now I'll stick it back in my hands. And you don't have to go circle if you don't want. You can make this a triangular shape. Um, you can make it a rectangle. You can make it look like a nugget. I mean, you can do whatever you want with these. Okay, I think I'm going to do one more. And I think I got it. So when you roll it in your hand, you're going back and forth. And that will keep the round shape. Okay, so there we go. 
And then you basically just find a spot that you like. Um, I like to have all three, so like a leaf, a flower, and some of that pink. So that's probably my biggest thing is where to put them. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? See, but I don't have that black by doing it that way. I'd like that black to show, or... I'm going to add just a tiny, tiny, tiny piece of black right there. I don't want to hide all the pink, but I don't know. Something's telling me to put this right here. Oh, well, it is what it is. I put it where I put it. No second guessing it. If I pulled it off, I would have ruined it. So now we're just going to roll it one more time. Actually, that went in pretty well. Okay. So now, thinking I like, I either like this part right here. Or that part. Now, all right, we're going to do that right there. Okay. And then I'm just going to flatten it. And since it's nice circle shape, it should stay at circle shape. I'm just going to run this like back and forth just to get it into a larger circle shape. And there you go. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's really cool. And it just gives it, it's just a layering effect. you got all kinds of things going on. So when you make your jewelry, you can throw in some teal, some mint, some pink, um, white, fuchsia, even throw in black in there. So let me show you what I accomplished today in the last couple of hours. So I made one of those earlier. Okay, so now I have two. And then I made these tiny little beads. And then I made them a little bit bigger. Those could be for earrings. Those can be for the necklace itself as well. Um, I found some... Oh, that cane that we worked on yesterday. Look at all these. So this was the cane from yesterday. So I've got all of these little gold and copper paper beads. And they're going to turn out really good when I finally get, get them all sanded and everything. I made a few round ones of those and then I made a focal piece out of what we had left so that actually worked okay and it's not quite circle which I didn't want it to be I made it kind of like a I don't know like a fat pure drop so a little more organic this was something that I just found a little cane so I just made a cabochon with that and a few like nugget style beads and that was more of that. This was that um, the turquoise cane that we just made the other day. I just threw some little black into it. We'll see how that one turns out. And this was back to that Kato clay. So I made more paper beads and then I made some round ones. And then I actually used what was left over and made something really weird. But I don't know. I kind of like it. Um, this is not my style. This is not me. I don't usually take a pattern on another pattern, but maybe I should because I think I like that. I don't know why. I just think it turned out kind of cool. So that was my day today, and there's another one that I just made into a swirl bead. And I'm going to keep going until I fill this whole cookie sheet. That's my chore for tonight. And I'm going to try and get another tumbler full by the end of the weekend. And then that's it, I think. I think that's probably all we're going to need. So I hope you like those. Here's all three of them. So kind of fun, huh? So just wanted to share with you guys. Short video. And now whatever canes you've got, go ahead and try layering them like that. And see what you come up with. Show me as well. 
I'd love to see it. So you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later. Bye.